And as we come into the presence of all that there is on this Tuesday evening, we come with the symbol of love in, a, in the symbolism of light, where we welcome all the angels and archangels, our spiritual guides, and all the ascended masters to come and to join us for this time of sharing, this time of personal healing, in the presence of God. So let us just now make ourselves comfortable and come as we are as a child of love, a child of the light. Let us be still and just be mindful of your in-breaths. We take a nice deep breath hold it and now let us release any worry or tension, fear or anxiety to Mother Earth. And another deep in breath and hold it and now breathe out any fear, sadness or worry to Mother Earth. And now relax. And as we breathe in again, we hold it, and now we release a blessing to one another. And we relax. And in our next in breath, we take a nice, deep, non labored in breath and hold it. Now release love to the universe. Just be still now. Be still and aware of God's presence. Be still and know that God is here and that we are loved by God. Just allow yourself relax fully in your mind, in your body, and in your spirit. Be still. Be still. And in that stillness, we use our gift of free will, a gift that God has given to each one of us. So let us use that gift by inviting, invoking, and calling upon the Father, Mother, God. And now let us call on the angelic realm, our guardian angels and messengers. And let us call on the angels of the animal kingdom, the nature spirits, the tree divas, and elementals. Let us become aware of their presence here and feel their love for you as you relax in your mind, in your body and in your spirit. Relax now. And you may choose to say a mantra of your own choosing I shall say, I am light divine. I am light divine. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. Relax. And just a yourself experience that healing touch of a loving Father, Mother, God, Supreme. Be still. Be still in the presence of love.
and around your feet be mindful of Mother Earth. She's bathing your feet with love. You can sense her touch. Soft, gentle strokes to your feet. She is blessing you with her love. Embrace that love. And with every in-breath you breathe in, you are breathing her healing love right up through your body, into your heart center. Feel that love and relax. And as you breathe in again, you're aware of the Divine Mother releasing her love from the heavens down through your crown chakra into your heart, bathing you in love. Relax now. Relax and embrace the feminine energies of Gaia and Mother Mary. Be still and sense a mother's love flow through your mind, your body and your spirit, affirming within you that you are indeed called by God to surrender your heart to love. Be still now and relax. And as you relax, you're aware that Gaia and Mother Mary are right beside you, showing you a mother's love. Be aware of their gentleness. Be aware that they are here to empower your heart. Release tiredness, weariness, and come back home to your I am presence within you. Experience the presence of the I am within your being as you relax now. As we relax, I would like to share with you, if I may, some beautiful words from the different world religions on how God comforts us. In Judaism we read, I will turn their mourning into joy and will comfort them and make them rejoice from their sorrow. And our brother and sister Sikhs have this to share. If you tell your sorrows to another, then he, in return, will tell you of his greater sorrows. So tell your sorrows to the Lord, your Lord and Master, who shall instantly dispel any pain. And our brother and sister Hindus say, Four sorts of mortals know me, he who weeps and the man who yearns to know, and he who toils to help, and he who sits certain of me, enlightened. And our brother and sister Muslims share, those who believe and whose hearts are comforted by the mention of God, a. By the mention of God shall their hearts be comforted, who believe and do what is right, good cheer for them and an excellent resort. And our Christian brothers and sisters tell us about God's comforting us when they say, be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, 
faithful in prayer. Share with God's people who are in need. Practice hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Mourn with those who mourn. Live in harmony with one another. And our Buddhist brothers and sisters say, let one live in love. Let one be adept in one's duties. Then joyfully one will see the end of sorrow. As the jasmine sheds its withered flowers, people should shed desire and hate. And our Baha'i brothers and sisters say, O oh my servants, sorrow not if, in these days and on this earthly plane, things contrary to your wishes have been ordained and manifested by God for days of blissful joy, of heavenly delight, are assuredly in store for you. Worlds, holy and spiritually glorious, will be unveiled to your eyes. You are destined by him. In this world and hereafter, to partake of their benefits, and to share in their joys and to obtain a portion of their sustaining grace. To each and every one of them, we, each one of them, you will no doubt attain. And our Christian brothers and sisters share this Blessed are they, those who mourn, they will be comforted. And in Hinduism, the sorrows of duty like the heat of the sun have scorched your heart. But let stillness fall on you with its sweet and cooling showers, and you will find happiness. What beautiful prayers, affirming that God loves us, that our Father, Mother, God has called you and me by name. And we are invited to the banquet of love, God's love. And though all of the children of God are invited, only a few accept that invitation. And of the few, some get discouraged and walk away. Will you, or will you stay with your hand to the plow so that the Father, Mother, God can use you as an instrument of blessing for the family of God, especially for those who live in fear of God or may be in denial of divine love. I want to play this for you as my gift to you. Just sit back and listen to the words and imagine the cosmic Christ singing to your heart. I have dreamt so long that we would meet again. I never doubted you. I knew you would return. Through an open door, bearing all the love 
we've known. Oh, I trusted you, I loved you so, I hoped in you, I knew you would come. I believed you were near Sometimes my heart could see you Oh, I believed in you Somehow could sense you near me I have longed to say so many things To comfort you you, I knew you would come home, and you are here at this table of love. You are relaxed in your mind, in your body, and in your spirit, and all around you there are beings of love supporting you and me, and all they're asking of us is to be still and surrender our hearts to love, to a selfless love, a reverent love, a healing love. And that love is the Father Mother God who cares deeply about you and your life and wants you to experience pure joy. So as we sit in our sacred space, let us allow the presence of Mother Mary and the presence of Gaia Mother Earth come and administer to us, to administer healing love. and we are aware of their love. It is a gentle love. It's non-invasive. It's respectful love. And with every in-breath that we breathe, we are breathing in their love for us, their child. And in our out -breaths, we are releasing all that has weighed us down this day. Any fears, anxieties, worries or hurts, maybe indecisiveness, 
we are releasing everything, our shadows, our demons, and now we come like Oliver with the porridge bowl. Please, sir, may I have some more? That is an example to us. We come with our hands in the form of a cup and we say, Father, Mother, God, release your love into my being and allow me be your chosen one, your disciple of love. And suddenly, into your hands, you see and visualize healing water coming from the universe. This water is divine love, and it's cascading into your very hands. And the spray from this beautiful selfless love is washing every part of you. It is cleaning your mind of debris. It's reawakening your heart to love. God's love. And you bring your hands gently to your heart. And as you place them over your heart, suddenly the veil of unknowing has been removed and Mother Mary and Gaia are leading you now through the most amazing gate that takes you into the portals of paradise, an oasis that is lush with the most beautiful tropical plants and you can hear the exquisite sound of the parakeets, the birds. You can even see their feathers with the sun's rays on a multiplicity of color. And there is joy all around you. And all your beloved pets that crossed over are here to welcome you. Yes. And just a short distance away, you see a seat of glass. And Mother Mary and Gaia ask you to sit and just get your breaths. And now you can see paradise. You are in paradise. And all your feathered friends are around you. They've come to say hello. They've come to thank you. To thank you for the love that you shared with them. They are here. And so is Francis of Assisi. He allows them to come to you and to spoil you with love, divine love. Sit and enjoy this amazing experience of being in paradise. And in the distance you can see the most magnificent portals of light, of crystal. It is the temple of the Holy of Holies. And you can see angels in abundance, millions and trillions of beings of light. But right here now, where you are sat, you can touch your feathered friends and they bring you so much love.
they bring you unconditional love. And they fill your heart with an abundant love of gratitude, of being able to care for these little ones when they lived with you, but now they're here and they're blessing you. What a beautiful scene in the Creator's Garden of Paradise. It is exquisite. It is peace-filled. It is joyous. There is no anger here, only love. Experience that healing love and your heart is beating stronger, much stronger now because the waters of life have cleansed your heart and is filling you with eternal joy and peace. And the rivers of life are now flowing through you to the world, bringing your love, your joy, your peace to the children of God who are wounded in mind, in body and spirit. And your love is empowering them to surrender to love. What a beautiful sight. And the rays of brother sun is beaming rays of love to your third eye, allowing you to see the eternal city to have a glimpse of what lies ahead for you and me, a city of light and love, beauty and grace. Be at peace here and allow your heart to receive the love of the animal kingdom the love of your feathered friends that you have loved in this life who are now saying thank you. Receive their gratitude. Receive their love. And now it's time to join Mother Mary and Gaia Mother Earth and return to where we are and as we leave the eternal garden we are aware of the gate closing behind us but not firmly just gently and as we open our eyes we come into that pleasant presence of love where the children of God await us and there is peace here. There is joy. There is laughter. There is light in our life. And as we hold this simple flame, we say the blessings of heaven, the blessings of earth, the blessings of sea and sky on those we love this night and on every human family, the gift of heaven, the gift of earth, the gift of sea and sky be in your heart now and forevermore. Amen.